Another difference that needs to be addressed is whether you're on the left or you're on the right, uh, because based off your handedness, um, based off your skill set, and, and even things like down to the hip mobility and hip flexibility. For example, one side is a little tighter for me than the other. Uh, at least I've noticed, and you know I'm working on addressing that. Uh, but you know, when it comes to pass rushing, uh, it kind of allows you to do certain moves a little better. Um, and as you'll find, um, you know, certain sides might present, you know, an easier opportunity to do certain things. Uh, so for example, I am right-handed. So if I'm on the left side, uh, you know, it's just, I, I find it easier. I know even uh, Khalil Mack, you know, he, he has this, this deal where like, you know, he's better, I'm, uh, he's left-handed. So he, his, his stab on, on the right side is more effective than when he's on the other side. Uh, and for me, it's kind of the opposite. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's just a matter of switching things up. For example, you know, certain people based off of their build, you know, are more one-hand stab guys. Some, some are more two-hand stab guys uh, just to kind of get that extension and that lockout and get that guy off balance uh, to do what you want to do. So if I'm on the right side, uh, you know, I'm just going to walk through this. So like we talked about earlier, just taking that, you know, that – Gaining that, gaining that distance, and I'm here. Um, you know, I, I could get that that reach into that that chest uh, and really kind of control him. Uh, and, you know, and, and drive him back. But you know, you when you uh, when you attack him, uh, you want to make sure that you're attacking. You know, half of the man, unless you're trying to do certain things. Like for example, uh, if I, I know in my head I don't want to actually drive him back, I might be able to reach across his body a little more just to kind of uh, you know get him off balance. But that's a dangerous game too which you should be careful about because if you reach too far and get too far over, then it's almost impossible to get back across the man's outside shoulder uh, to be able to get the sack. Um, so like I said, uh, certain moves just based off of your, your hip, hip flexibility and your handedness, uh, that's just something you need to keep in mind as you're building your pass rush repertoire. Um, and you know, just keep that in mind as you're, you're about to go against your opponent uh, and based off of how he is too. Another detail that you should keep note of is, you know, how is this guy? Sometimes there's, there's guards that are playing tackle. And the thing about guard uh, is that they have a very strong inside hand. You know, they're, they're dealing with guys constantly trying to cross their face. Um, and so if he's here and, you know, I, I know Yelda has experience playing guard. So the counters might not be as effective, but they're not as comfortable in space typically. You know, this doesn't apply to everybody. Um, and so, like, with them being uncomfortable in space, I'm going to want to drag them out, uh, you know, maybe with a wider split from the get-go to really get him kicking, to really let him feel that he is, you know, by himself. He's on an island here. Um, you know, if, unless there's a, a running back that's wide ready to chip me or a tight end that's off the ball in location ready to also possibly chip me, um, you know, that's what I'm going to want to do uh, just to make kind of, you know, neutralize uh, his strengths while playing to mine. It's it's a very uh, yin and yang playoff of you know his weaknesses while also playing to mine and uh, attack his weaknesses.